That's the happiest face I can pull. Hello and welcome to Katie Fix. Today we are making the ultimate chocolate cake. Oh, yum! This is basically my go-to recipe if I'm going to a friend's house, if it's a birthday, if you just want to eat cake, this is the cake you need. So, it is a chocolate cake. It's made predominantly with lots of lovely wet ingredients. I mean, it's going to be fudgy and moist and delicious. Should we get started? Obviously, you don't need a KitchenAid for this. You can just do this by hand or with an electric whisk or whatever you've got. But she makes things so much easier. So we're going to start off by adding 350 grams of plain flour, 75 grams of cocoa powder, so this is where our gorgeous chocolate is coming in, 250 grams of caster sugar, don't miss the calories guys, <laughs> and 120 grams of brown sugar. It just adds that little bit of fudgy, treacly flavour to it. Now we're going to add in one teaspoon of bicarbonate of soda and half a teaspoon of salt. And now we're going to, oh, I've got leftover icing from my donut. <laughs> That's gross. That is so gross. <laughs> Now we're going to do our wet ingredients. So we're going to grab another bowl. And into this bowl, we're going to add 240 mils of cold coffee. So this is 240 mils of hot water with one tablespoon of just instant coffee that we've just allowed to cool down to, well, cold. Cold, cold coffee. So that's going to go in there. Now coffee, <coughs> my body went way off scale then. Coffee. I also didn't mean to cough when I said coffee. It's the punny in me. So the coffee in this cake is going to bring out those chocolate flavours like you would not believe. It's going to make it rich and dark and delicious. To this we're also going to add 210 mils of vegetable oil. If you happen to have used a packet cake mix at any point that uses quite a lot of oil and you will have thought, oh, I feel really bad using this much oil, but it comes out as the most moist and delicious cake, that's why. Oil based cakes are really, really good. So, 210 mils of oil, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and three eggs. Okay, we're now gonna give that a good whisk up. All that's left for me to do now is to combine. I have also pre buttered some cake tins for the dimensions and stuff. I'll link all the info in the description box. So, we're gonna get those dry ingredients nicely mixed first and then I'm going to slowly add our wet ingredients to form a gorgeous chocolatey batter. And then we're going to slowly add in the wet ingredients. Ah! Oh! Perfectly smooth. So there you have it, a gorgeous, oh look at that, that's food porn, right there. Oh. You're going to decant it evenly between your two cake tins and it's going to go into a preheated oven at 180 degrees for about 35 minutes or until a skewer comes out clean. Lovely. Oh, it just, it looks like fudge. That looks pretty even to me. And then into the oven we go. Going nowhere. Do 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 do. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Our chocolate cake is out of the oven, it has cooled, it has risen like a boost. It's beautiful, it's moist, you can tell it's got a gorgeous spring to it. It's gonna be super fluffy with a lovely crunchy outside. So all that's left to do is to piece it together with a little bit of decoration. And I'm gonna keep it so simple because not only is this the ultimate chocolate cake, it's actually just the easiest. I'm not gonna tidy it. It's got a bag of buttercream icing here, chocolate flavored. If you want the information on how to make this, then make sure you click the I just up here. Yeah, up here. And you'll see my buttercream recipe and I've just added a little bit of cocoa powder to it to make it gorgeously chocolatey. I'm gonna smooth over this, just make sure it's nice and even. Oh, so much chocolate! Mmm, give it a little squish down. And do the same! Ooh! 
one. <laughs> so we're just gonna smooth it out. I have kept this super, super basic, as you can see. I'm gonna finish it off with a bit of chocolate shavings, which you can do very simply for a really simple, almost naked cake style look. Okay, so you're gonna take a large knife, so you want a nice bit of surface area, and you're going to hold it down at the base, hold your chocolate, and you're just gonna drag your knife at an angle across it. I'm just gonna pop them around the edge of our cake. No, it's not the most fancy, highly decorated cake, but it tastes amazing. It looks impressive. It looks like it's time well spent when actually it took me about, what, five minutes of mixing ingredients. Time to taste it. Time to give it a cut. Oh, it's still a little bit warm. If we tuck in here, look how spongy that is. That is absolutely beautiful. Super spongy, super light super chocolatey. If you like this recipe guys, then please do give it a go and share it with me on, on social media. I'm at the Katie Pitt. If you like this recipe, then feel free to give it a thumbs up, leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe. I'm here every single Tuesday and I'd love to have you as part of this amazing community. Till next time guys, bye! Uh, it's still warm. Mm. That is filthy good.